evening, I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to a sold-out boardwalk hall in Atlantic City, New Jersey, for tonight's main event. 12 rounds in the middleweight division between Sugar Ray Leonard and Sugar Ray Robinson. Leonard's on his way to the ring, and you can just tell what kind of night he intends this to be. He's just brimming with confidence. Sugar Ray Robinson's making his way to the ring right now, flanked by his cornermen, and just an overall feeling that they're not exactly hyped up for this one. All right, gentlemen, protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch them up. Round number one is now underway. All the talk is done. It is simply time to fight. If you're in the corner of Ray Leonard, how do you set forth a game plan that can top Ray Robinson? Well, you know he's a great puncher with either hand. So the first thing you want to do is not stand right in front of him where you can use that great ability. Give him angles. You're going to have to use those wheels tonight. Fine looking right hand by Sugar Ray Leonard. Leonard's got an eye that has a cut above it. He clinches when he gets to the inside. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Combo lands to the head. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Bombs away with a hook by Sugar Ray Leonard. Teddy, what are your expectations? What do you think we're going to see out of Sugar Ray tonight? Well, you're going to see what you always see to a certain extent. Blinding ability. Just great talent. You know, he has power, he has speed. You know, and a lot of times when you see that, you think about the head. You know, a lot of those guys that are real speed merchants, like Sugar Ray Leonard, they go right upstairs to that top. But he pays attention to the body. Don't be surprised if you see some body work. Tremendous pace being set early on here between these two. Can't see this fight going the distance with this pace. No, not unless something changes, like moving their heads a little bit. Solid left hand by Sugar Ray Leonard. Final 10 seconds of round number one. Can't work in the bottom. 
A crushing two-punch combo by Sugar Ray Leonard. Coming to the end of this round, Joe and Teddy with you ringside. Teddy, a round like that where it's a lot of busy activity and both guys being busy. When you were a trainer, are those the kind of rounds that you prefer or do you like the pace to be a little slower? Does it depend on each guy? No, if I have a fighter, I'd rather have a guy fighting a guy that you never see him. <laughs> Leave me the heck alone and where I'm in control all the time. But the fans love to see a that fight like that. It. That's it. I need another round like that. Just like that, all right? You're doing good. Just keep it up. Throw. Throw punches, okay? Don't just don't walk into him without throwing a punch. Here we go. Round two is underway. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's Come doing. On, Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Great movement to get away from those punches. Leonard's the target of a hook. Targeting that head with a combination punch. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Robinson's doing a really good job of being defensively sound, of being patient, and waiting for that golden opportunity for some offense to come in the mix. Well, that's exactly what he's doing. He's waiting for a mistake to be made. You know, he wants a lead out of his opponent right now so he can make a miss and bang, come right back with that hook. What an excellent two-punch combo by Sugar Ray Leonard. Leonard scoring with that right hand. Halfway through this round here. Gotta try to do better than that. He missed with that hook. Both fighters told us that they want to have a similar approach early on here. They want to show a lot of varied attacks. Sugar Ray Robinson was rocked. Now the question is, can he play stay away? Now you're seeing stamina right here. How can they possibly keep up this pace? Minute to go in this round, and they have been all out. I know how I feel, Joe, myself. I mean, I feel like I've been on a roller coaster, except I'm not sitting, I'm standing. Not able to land the headshot. Way to block there. Accurate shot, straight right hand comes in. Leonard's hurt, can you believe this? Solid. Oh, this is gonna be close. He may be able to survive the round, but he has gone down now. One, two, three, four, five. Leonard's now getting back up off the canvas. Final 10 seconds. Able to dismiss that body shot. Hard to believe that they can keep up like that. One of those rounds that you just won't forget. Both guys able to land big punches on the other. Well, in the old days, they'd be snapping one of those capsules under their nose, you know, smelling salt, ammonia capsules. Not allowed anymore. They want to wake them up, get them together. Now you got to dump a little water on them, send them out. Here you go. How quickly can he recover? That's one of the questions that'll be answered early on in this round after being knocked down in that last round. Well, what he has to do is go out there, be defensive-minded. I think get a little time early on. Don't worry about winning or pressing the first part of the round. Just get himself together, then start picking it up after that. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. So 
You know, we're early in this fight, but Leonard's energy may come into question soon. He's throwing a lot of punches, Ted. Yeah, and his mental energy, too. I'm wondering if he's getting a little discouraged that his opponent is not showing a lot of effect from all those shots. Down defense to block that time by Sugar Ray Leonard. Hits him in the mug with the right. Robinson's throwing punches out there that may cost him dearly because these are perfect and prime to be countered with. Yeah, they are. They're a little too fat. And when they're a little bit too fat, guess what? The butcher's going to come over and he's going to cut that fat off. Oh, well, his opponent's going to throw in between. Keep moving. Step back, then the counter punch by Sugar Ray Leonard. Very similar to what you see Floyd Mayweather do. You know, make a miss, pull that shoulder back, and then come right back with the counter. I know there's always room for improvement with every fighter, but is that the case with Sugar Ray Robinson? What would you improve on with him? No, there is. Believe it or not, as great as he was in so many areas, the one thing that you could improve, you could find him. You could hit him. That's the one thing that you would like to improve with Sugar Ray Robinson. Make him a little bit more invisible. Good flush shot upstairs. Robinson's punch is far off the target. Robinson's impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. You need to move your head more, okay? Side to side. Lean to the side. Boom. Deep breath, deep breath. Holy we shit, you are in control of this fight, man. Don't get careless out there, right? Just just keep boxing smart. All right, you look great. Don't need that. Throw that away. Round number four underway, and I think these first three rounds, as he's up three to zip on your scorecard, have given us a glimpse of the hard work he put in in training camp. Yeah, especially to that body. You can see that that was part of the fight plan, and he's really acting on it. Robinson's keeping his guard up very, very well. Teddy, does it help to have the speed that he has? Uh, sure. Anytime you have speed and you can put it into the equation where whatever you're doing, it has to be technically right, but now you put speed, you're doing it even better. You're doing it at a higher level. Robinson's movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. Work the body, kid. Body shot. Nice strike after catching one by Sugar Ray Robinson. Halfway through round number four. He just missed that shot up top. Move your head! Yeah. 
Leonard's work rate is impressive, Teddy, but his connect percentage is not. Now, there's two reasons for it, Joe. One is his opponent. His opponent is pretty smart there. You know, he's not just standing there saying, hey, hit me. He's moving, he's being smart defensively. The other thing is the punch is a little too wide. He needs to shorten them up a little. <laughs> they both decide to bring it. <laughs> at all by Sugar Ray Leonard. Back to the body! Three minutes gone by in this round. Robinson's approach here is to score from the outside at long range, Teddy, and he's been headhunting and cashing in. Well, he sees that his opponent is coming in the same way all the time, so he's picking him up, pot-shotting him a little bit before he gets close. Don't waste your punches out there. Round number five has arrived. Keep your hands up. And he's holding. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. Keep it going. Just he got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Sugar Ray Robinson. Come on, kid, focus. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Keep moving, keep moving. Taking too many punches, hands up. Very nice work from both men. They each got a shot in. Halfway into round number five here. Pace yourself. Robinson's making this like artwork here. I mean, his defense is just a masterpiece. Well, that's the way it's supposed to be, actually. You know, the, the sweet science. It's not supposed to be about going in there and eating punches. It's supposed to be about going in there avoiding punches. You know, finding a way to hit your opponent without him hitting you. He understands that. Leonard showing you a little defensive skill there. Able to move away from that punch. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Nice, nice. In and out, in and out. Oh, what an exchange. Last 10 seconds. End of the round is upon us. 
And we have a fighter in front of us who just looks gassed. He looks tired. Now, Teddy, what can he do to overcome that when this fight starts back up? Well, first of all, this is where you're searching to those corners that you're not forced to search. Kind of like when you were a kid and your mother told you to clean your room and go into those little nooks and crannies where you never knew there was dirt. Now you got to start looking into nooks and crannies inside yourself. Places you didn't know were there before. You better find them. You better find them quick. The best defense is to throw punches. You need to throw more punches. Back to action here at the start of this round. That last round was very interesting because it was the kind of round that can turn a fight in a completely new direction. He did well. Yeah, you know, the old time saying was uh, bad start, good finish. Well, that's what he's hoping for, good finish. Leonard's whip in there. A big, wide, sweeping shot. I mean, perfect to counter against. Yes, it is, and you know it's only a matter of time. You know, that goes into the old computer, the old brain, where the guy remembers that, and the next time he's going to capitalize on it. Work the body, his body shot. Robinson showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. You're not focusing. Leonard's coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. Halfway through round six. Keep working the body. Robinson's showing us a real, real solid skill set here with his head movement. Teddy, how much of that is just natural athletic ability and instincts, and how much of that is being trained well? Well, most of it's trained well. If I take a guy off the street, show and he hasn't been taught anything, he's going to throw punches. But usually, he's not going to have a good defense. That's something that has to be attained. That's something that has to be taught. This guy has been taught good defensive fundamentals. Job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Sugar Ray Leonard. Comes right back at him with a left hand. You're still not moving enough. Move, move. Round six comes to an end. This Robinson's plan has not changed this one ounce. Fight. We've seen Keep him have up. great success all night, fighting out at range, fighting in a safe area, but yet still scoring. What does his opponent have to do? Well, there are opportunities for his opponent. What he has to do is beat Joe Montana. I believe he's a quarterback, yeah. You know, Montana wouldn't throw the ball to where the receiver is, where he's going to be. Well, his opponent's stepping back, so throw the punch behind him. Let him walk right into it. And with the start of this round, the halfway point of this fight. Now hugging on the inside. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Sugar Ray Robinson. Oh, good exchange there. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Sugar Ray Robinson. Keep moving, keep moving. 
Leonard's got a way of just getting away from that punch. the halfway point of round seven. You see him holding on. Come on, get focus. Robinson's now showing off what he probably worked very hard on in the gym. You can see that the effective footwork, the movement, is making for this to be a fairly easy round for him. Teddy, what kind of training regimen do you put a guy through to develop this skill? Well, what you do is you have him work on defense. Sometimes I'll put a fighter in a ring to spar, and I won't let him throw punches back. I'll make him just make the guy miss. Just use his legs, use his head movement, use his blocking skills, and make sure he concentrates exactly on one thing, defense. He's shown it right now. remaining in this round good clean shot returning fire well done by Sugar Ray Leonard listen you need to move your head more side to side okay we I want to see that head move more jab jab and throw throw to the body then to the head then finish to the body Oh, this is a wipeout. You're winning this fight. Just keep doing what you're doing, and you got this. Just, just keep doing what you're doing. You gotta watch the That's water it. Corner. You heard him. Keep on him. Round number eight is underway, and Teddy, a chance to look at your scorecard. You got him up pretty good. We often use that word judicious in describing a fighter, of picking your spots and being effective when you do. Well, that's a good point, Joe, and that's exactly what he's doing. You know, he's making him do what he wants to do without even coming forward. You know, he's pushing him all over the ring, but not with any physical force, just by making sure that he controls the guy mentally, that he makes the guy feel a certain amount of pressure, and makes the guy react the way he wants him to react. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. seconds to go halfway through round eight here's one for you now he says right back with the left hand work the body kid body shot Thank <laughs> you. 
If there was a baseball umpire around, he'd call that a strikeout by Sugar Ray Leonard. Leonard's throwing a lot of punches right here, but not a lot of them are landing. And that can be very discouraging to the guy who's throwing them because he's working, but he's starting to get a little frustrated, a little concerned that he's not doing damage, as you said. I like that step back right there. Just enough to be out of danger, but still close enough to then lay in the counter punch. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range. Know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. And that's the end of round eight. Robinson's performance has been consistent tonight. All night long, we've seen the same thing. Scoring to his opponent's head from the outside. Well, if it's not broke, why fix it, Joe? He's doing exactly what he should be doing. Now it's up to his opponent to change something here. As another round gets underway, it gets us thinking, how much more of this will we see? Hard to envision this fight going the distance with how lopsided it's been. That hook was well off the mark. Just still not who can go. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Robinson's missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. His opponent got away from that uppercut. <laughs> Halfway through the ninth round. Blocks that belt line well. Keep moving, keep moving. Watch the hook. Defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Oh, he shoot. Big right hand. Leonard's got things going on his side now. Remember, this fight was going against him. Now, a good rally by him. Some of that body work there, even when he was losing the rounds, that body work, it's starting to pay dividends right now. Gages in the clinch. He missed with that headshot. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Sugar Ray Robinson. End of that round, and what I take away from it is that he has a great grasp of what the judges look for. Good, clean, effective punching has him in control. Well, that's what happens when you have a good amateur background where you're real calm. That's your office. You're able to see things. You don't see one way to hit a guy, not even two. You see four or five ways to hit a guy with the same punch. And he's showing that right now. Stay away from that power hand, okay? 
Keep circling away from that power hand. I need you to keep moving side to side, all right? Just keep moving. Don't let him get that power shot. Now listen, you need to keep moving. And now they start round number 10. Robinson's got to be steady on his feet right here. Everybody's looking to see how he looks right now after being stunned in that last round. Nice work by Sugar Ray Leonard. He was looking for an opportunity. He got it with that counterpunch. Yeah, he stepped to the side. You know, a lot of times you talk about using your jab to set up a shot. He used his legs. Stepped to the side, got that opportunity. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. <laughs> Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Halfway through round 10. Effective with that one, two. Leonard's on the receiving end of a very good counter punch. Shot blocked. <laughs> Nothing there on the punch by Sugar Ray Leonard. <laughs> You're not focusing. Leonard's gas tank may be heading towards empty here. Yeah, and I don't see any gas station in the nearby vicinity. And that's the end of round Keep 10. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep the jab pumping and throw the lead right hand, all right? I mean, you are winning this fight. Yeah, we'll get him. We'll get him. So, he's tight. Yeah. He's got nothing left, okay? Just go for the head and knock him out. Keep your hands, all right? Yeah. Keep your hands up. You gotta fight. You gotta throw more. He's in prime position to win this fight now, Teddy. I really don't see any other way it could go. Here we are in the 11th round, and for a good string of rounds now, it's been all one-sided. Yeah, it's been one-sided. Something you just touched on. You don't see any other way it could go. And I think that he's convinced his opponent of seeing it that way, that he can't see any other way for it to go. Body shot. Robinson's knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend, 
One of them is to block. He did it there well. You're still not moving enough. Move, move. much action as he just ties up. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Unable to make an impact there by Sugar Ray Leonard. A little give and take and here comes the left hand. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Unable to score with the hook. Leonard's hit by a counter punch there. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. And that's the end of round 11. Robinson's in position right now to really bring home a good victory. He's up on the punch stats. He's up on your scorecard. This is his fight. Yeah, we just hope that the judges, and you never know that. That's one thing that sometimes can really disappoint you in this business. You hope the judges see it that way because I can't see it any other way. Okay, we got this one. Last round, and it's yours, okay? Keep your distance. Keep your hands up. You got that. You got it? All right? Okay, good. Take a deep breath now. You need to cover up more, okay? Twelfth and final round. Good block by Sugar Ray Leonard. Tried the hook, didn't get it. Able to cover up that gut. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Get out of the way from those punches. Move your head. Defense just covering up down low. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Takes one to give one. Uppercut in return. And there he counters back against his opponent. Ray Robinson blocks that punch. No, oh, and they decide to trade there. Not able to land the headshot. Move your head. Come on. Give focus. How about that exchange? Not 
Not an accurate hook at all. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. Sugar Ray Robinson's doing well here with that two-punch combination. Well, you should lose your judge's license if you have it any other way but the obvious here, Teddy. Yeah, if they do that, I want to put those guys on a poster, a wanted poster, but you don't want them. Here's our ring announcer. Robinson's performance tonight was exactly what he was looking for, and...